All right, that is it for our demo. Now I'm going to turn it over to Dan for the live Q&A portion of this session. I have not seen any questions come in, so uh, you know, don't be shy. If you have any, please uh, submit it. And meanwhile, maybe as we're waiting, um, I can have. Let's you know, maybe let's ask Dan if you know some of the questions that he have encountered. Uh, any popular questions then that you maybe are willing to share with the uh, audience here? Uh, sure, great. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, th th thanks for that. Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging in there. We apologize again for those technical difficulties. Um, we're uh, uh, trying to scramble to get this to you. Um, yeah, we saw. Are you guys hearing me? Or actually, there's a, a question that came in, so maybe yes. we'll just yes, go with yes. that right now. From so we have uh, from um, Jay Green. Um, yeah. How tightly bound to Docker and Kubernetes are the DevOps? Uh, DevOps flow features? That's a great question. Um, so uh, pretty tightly bound right now um, for that specific flow that you saw, which is a feature we call auto DevOps, um, where the uh, the built-in pipeline, which is actually just a CIML file, uh, has been carefully scripted to work with Kubernetes, and it does rely on Kubernetes functionalities and makes API calls to get information such as the um, the IP address of the of the ingress server and things like that. Um, you can, in general, use GitLab with any uh, infrastructure, whether you know it's Kubernetes or just straight Docker or VMs or, or bare metal. Um, but this particular feature that we showed during this demo uh, is pretty tightly tied to Kubernetes. Um, you can run Auto DevOps still without Kubernetes. You would get up to the part of the pipeline where it runs uh, a series of tests. Um, but uh, you would not get the automatic review app, um, dynamic application security testing, um, and performance testing, which do rely on uh, spinning up the environment. So, so again, uh, we awesome. we we very firmly believe that Kubernetes is uh, is is the future with respect to dynamic infrastructure. Um, so we're uh, but but again, it, we do work with other than Kubernetes um, for just the general stuff, but this particular feature does not. Not in its entirety. Great question. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, any other questions out there? You guys can hop on if you can hop on the mic. Uh, I'm not sure if they can, um, but uh, put it put it in chat. Put it in the Q and A. Would be happy to uh, to answer any anything you saw or anything about GitLab in general. Happy to have that discussion. Maybe Vasa, you guys are thinking of that and writing down your questions or typing them in. Um, so Agnes, uh, what you mentioned, uh, some of the questions that we get answered uh, when we show GitLab, uh, one is, you know, what's different between you and GitHub? Um, I, I hope during the demo you saw quite a bit of stuff that you probably would uh, recognize or is not available in GitHub. Um, GitLab did start as a uh, open source version of GitHub, uh, an SEM system. Um, and grew very rapidly from there. We added CI and got, uh, in 2017, Forrester's very top of the CI wave, um, so uh, market leading, uh, and then added all these other features as well around that to, to build out the full DevOps lifecycle, um, something that, uh, that is not really available in the competition. Uh, question from, uh, let's see, uh, from Kellis, uh, thank you. Uh, does the current EE, so that's an Enterprise Edition self-hosted solution, currently support all the demonstrated features. Uh, so it does. Um, uh, that would be the uh, what we call the ultimate version uh, if it's self-hosted. Uh, we actually call it self-managed now because you might be putting that on, on Amazon or Google's cloud or some other cloud, and that's fine. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the, uh, the current uh, uh, Enterprise Edition of, uh, of GitLab uh, with the ultimate tier, um, and so that's the key is that there's different levels of tiers, um, and uh, you can get different levels of functionality with the different tiers. So there's a, a core a freeze tier, uh, there's a starter tier, um, uh, and uh, a premium, and then ultimate tier. So the, when we get to premium, you, get, you start getting things like HA um, and uh, geo uh, replication. Uh, and then an ultimate, we add the security scanning uh, and other features like that. Uh, so, uh, so yes, those are available though. If you get 
if you go on to gitlab.com right now, for example, um, and, and start an account there, uh, and you have a public project, uh, you get the free gold tier, which is equal to the ultimate tier, the top tier, and you can have all that functionality. Uh, next all right, question. so we are at 11.30 oh. then, so 11.32, so maybe, yeah, we'll take one last answer, uh, question from Hugo since we did have some technical glitches earlier, and then we will wrap up. Great. Thanks, Agnes. Okay. Uh, so any new features worth highlighting on the planning phase? Uh, you showed a board. What else is there to help the team with work management and continuous improvement? Uh, great, great question. Um, so all of our new features and everything that we're working on are available on our website in our uh, roadmap section. We uh, make that very open, uh, including pointers to the issues and that we're actually actively using to work on the features. Um, uh, regarding the planning phase specifically, uh, there are many new features that I know they're working on. Uh, we're doing a lot of big push towards um, value stream management. So there's a lot of new visibility and built-in monitoring, uh, or not monitoring, sorry, uh, graphing and, and reporting capabilities that are coming uh, and a lot of good stuff there. So uh, check it out. And thank you all. Agnes? All right. Thank you so much, Dan. So, we are moving along and to wrap it up. So basically this demo and live Q&A session is something new that we're trying out. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's session and would really appreciate your responses to our survey, which I'll drop in the chat. We also would like to invite you to sign up for a free trial of GitLab Ultimate. I'll chat that link as well. And finally, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach us via our sales contact page about .gitlab.com sales. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us.